What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Drizzle Kyogre team alongside with Life Orb Ludicolo and Prankster Thunderous. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Before we do get started on this team preview, I just want to apologize for lack of uploads this week. You guys know I like to upload every single day, and we missed two days this week because I've been super, super busy with school and everything going on in my life. But starting off in that top left corner, we have Kyogre. Kyogre has a fairly normal moveset of Water Spout, Thunder, Scald, and Protect. This guy just swapped out Scald for Origin Pulse, but it's going to work just fine. We have the Wave Incense and Drizzle to set that rain. Right next to him is going to be a Pokemon that's going to pair really, really well with him, and that's going to be Ludicolo. He has Swift Swim, so he doubles his speed in the rain. Life will do a little bit more damage. Then he has three stab moves with Hydro Pump, Leaf Storm, Muddy Water, and then a the final move of Protect. Middle left is going to be Malwack, a Pokemon that thrives in a Trick Room. He has Lightning Rod, Thick Club, Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, Alice Switch, and Detect as his moveset. But his main focus here is going to be that Lightning Rod. It's going to be able to protect our Kyogre and also our Celestial and help us get rolling out in this battle. Right next to him, we have Urshifu, Fighting Dark type, Unseen Fist, Focus Ash. You guys seen plenty of this Pokemon. Really, really strong and a normal moveset of Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Attack. Bottom left corner, these two bottom Pokemon really sealed the deal for me picking this team to record with. We're going to get started with Celesteel first. Has that Beast Boost ability and that Lumberry. Iron Head, Fly, Rock Slide, and Wide Guard. But this thing's going to pair well amazing with this Thunderous. Thunderous has that Prankster ability and that Wide Land so it can land its moves. We have Thunderbolt, Swagger, Thunder Wave, and Rain Dance. So we can reset weather with Rain Dance. We can Thunder Wave the Pester and slow down speed. We have Swagger and that Lumberry combo for that Celesteel. We will confuse it, unconfuse it with the Lumberry, and just get that free attack boost and have Celesteel boost it out of its mind. And then we just have Thunderbolt for our final move so we can actually hit, do some damage with Thunderous. But guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Prankster Thunderous and Kyogre team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Pokemon that I absolutely love, but haven't used in forever, and that is going to be Duraludon over here. He was used so much before Restricted Mods have come in, but now that Restricted Mods are here, I feel like they're just overpowering him and just canceling him out. But Restricted Mods leave next series, so hopefully we can see Duraludon later and back in the next series. This guy also has Indeedee, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, surprise, surprise, that's a great combo right there. He also has the Incineroar, Regilecki, and Inteleon. Um, I kind of want to go Celesteel and try to roll from here. Like Celesteel, a Prankster combo? We could go rain, but I'm totally going to go with this and see if I can throw him off and catch a dub in battle number one. We're going to go uh, Kyogre in the third spot, and then in the final spot, it's either Urshifu or Ludicolo. Both decent. Both decent here, but I think Urshifu is going to take that cake just for that back end protection for that Duraludon. And we can do some work up against that Shadow Rider and Indeedee with our uh, Wicked Blow. I'm digging this. I'm digging Urshifu in that back end. But guys, let me know for question of the day. I didn't even ask you yet, but what is your favorite region form Pokemon? Considering we have a uh, Galarian, is it Galarian or is it Alolan Malak? That's Alolan Malak, I believe. Considering we have Alolan Malak on our team, made me think of that question. Who is your favorite region form? It could be from any region. It could be like Alolan region, Galarian region. I don't know if they did it for the region before. I think they started off with Alolan. But me, obviously, Alolan Raichu rocks out. I think it's such a cool Pokemon, and it's just all around amazing. I do like the Galarian birds, though. Galarian birds do rock out. Same thing with uh, Galarian Darmanitan. Awesome Pokemon. There is a good bit. But he is going to end up leading in DD and Duraludon. And he's probably going to Dynamax at Duraludon. And he might be a little confused. So my real question is, do I think he's going to go for a follow me? Possibly? Quite possibly. In that case, I might not even Dynamax. I think I might just Thunder Wave. Oh, wait, we're Prankster. Can Prankster... Oh, I'm a little confused here. Can Prankster come out on my own Pokemon? I don't think it can. I don't think it can. I do not think it can. With the Psychic Surge going. That's my problem. That's my problem. He's going to Dynamax to Rout on. All right, so we're just going to save our Dynamax here. We are going to save our lovely Dynamax. Let's see if I might end up Dynamax Urshifu or Kyogre when he comes in. It's Kyogre's beast. But the route on getting that Dynamax, he's getting after it. Yo, I love this Pokemon. I can't believe he doesn't have G-Max though. No G-Max. He might be policy. I can totally see that. The route on's really bulky. But once I get out my Urshifu, we should be fine. Helping Hands can come out here. I don't think we could have swaggered here. That's my problem. 
Thunderbolt's gonna come to the rear, and we're just gonna drop an Iron Head and double up into this NDD. Try to get off as much damage as we possibly can. There's a Max Lightning, and bye bye, Slug. Oh no, you're going after Thunder. It's okay, that's totally fine. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day because he gets no stat boost from it. It wasn't stab. We eat up and we're wasting a turn. Well, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. I think we just try to waste our turns here. Here goes this. Nice damage from the Iron Head. Another double up move we can actually take out. I'm going to do that exact same thing. Get this stab rolling. And I think we're just going to uh, Thunderbolt again. But let me know in the comment section down below. I think the only move that I can use for, th for Thunders is going to be Rain Dance. Right? I cannot use Swagger in the second terrain. I cannot use Thunder Wave, and I cannot use, uh, well, yeah, those two. I can only use Rain Dance or uh, Thunder, Thunderbolt. Of course, he protects. Indeedee's Rock and Protect. I actually wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the Indeedee to rock up with Protect, but it is using it, so great read there. He's going to get that attack drop on me and take out my Thunders. Totally fine. Totally fine. Even though Celestial is physical. Ends up going with that, getting the stab off, and I think. I think we just roll out with Urshfruit. Urshfruit is sashed. He is sashed. A lovely little sash. What's gonna be play? Try to drop a close combat on that thing? Try to go in with the Iron Head? Or do I just Sucker Punch now? Sucker Punch is into play. I think it's just close combat. I could Wicked Blow and just get rid of Indeedy. Actually, let's do this. Hmm. I have to make sure this indeed goes down. I'm gonna get rid of this indeed. We are sash. I'll save the close combat for another turn. Let's see if uh, what's called max guards. If the out will max guard here, which I can definitely see happening, and he might swap or try to get his protect back. No guard. Follow me. He's coming through here. That's totally fine. I was coming after you anyway. And he's gonna try to go after my urge food, but best part is we're focused sash. For focus ash and this is exactly why i brought Urshfu in was to actually take out this down because i knew i know down is going to be a problem but hopefully he doesn't go into a pokemon with first turn priority that could be definitely scary he's gonna go for a worm win knock down my attack but still we're gonna try to get off a big close combat on this thing and the thing the best part about this is is he's not really boosted here he really isn't boosted he has no boost going on he just dropped our attack i kind of want to swap celestilo just to get our stats back but I think we're fine. I think Close Combat can do work on this Duraldon and Kyrie can come in here and clean up everything. I am digging that. I am digging the position we're sitting at. But it really depends on what Pokemon he's bringing in the back end and how fast they are. So let's see. Show me no first turn priority. That's all we need. That's all we need. That's all we need is, is no first turn priorities. So in that case, we're just going to have to drop a Sucker Punch and settle for less. But I would love to get off of Close Combat on this Duraldon before we do drop out and uh, die. He's gonna go Calder. Oh, ooh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. This one's tough. This one is tough. I think he's rocking ally switch. I'm gonna swap you in the Kyogre. And how fast are you, Urshfu? One sixty-three. We think we are fastest on the field. I don't want an ally switch coming in here. I'm gonna sucker punch over on the Calyrex. I'm gonna sucker punch over on the Calyrex. I, I think that maybe he might outspeed us. I wish I knew the speeds. Let's see what happens here. My Jules is gonna come out here and we're gonna see how this thing rolls. Protect comes through. We can't sucker punch. Oh, we can't sucker punch. Dang, we hit through protects, but we can't suck a punch. Thunderbolts can come out here. We're on Earth Sheet. Okay. I'm kind of fine with that. I'm kind of fine with that, considering Celestial's stats go back to normal, and it's basically a 2v2 or 2v3 with a Dynamax on my side. All right. All right, I see it. I am going to Dynamax here, and I am going to just Geyser and get it for Calyrex. Might be Sash, so in that case, I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide and play it that way. The Roudon is a little scary here. Certainly he does have Thunderbolt. T-Bolt in the house.
so tough. It's so tough, dude. If we would have dropped the close combat, that would have been perfect. We would have set ourselves up for victory and probably would have won this battle. But I just thought Calyrex was just, just posing that big threat. I really did. And he ended up protecting. But I'm not sure. I, sometimes Calyrexes are really, really fast. Like they outspeed my Urshikos. But sometimes they're not. They're very weird. And I just don't know their stats. But Astro Barrage is going to pop through here. Jeez, that did a heaping amount of damage. He gets a crit on me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Here goes a geyser. Hopefully my Celestial can get off a rock slide. Let's see. Is this thing Sash? It is Sash. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Sash pops out. We need this rock slide to connect. Throw down. Okay, the down goes after him. And we're able to eat up fine. And here goes my rock slide. Rock slide is going to connect. Take out uh, Calyrex and do a little bit of damage on the down. Alright, alright. Alright, let's see who his final mine is. This one's going to be really close. Beast boost is coming through. Yes, sir. What are we boosting up? Our attack stat. Love to see it. No more electric. That works in our favor because we don't have anything electric. And he's just T-Bone and getting the damage boost from it. Monkai Ogre. But yo, he went to that psychic surge. He went to that surge right off the rip. Kind of threw me off. Oh, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. I think I feel like we have to go for a geyser on him. Trying to do as much damage as we can. Um, I could fly. I think I'm. I think I'm dead here. I think we'll try to get off a of rock slide. He's probably just gonna snipe shot me and roll from there. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what the kind sir does. You know, Inteleon's not stashed. Dark Pulse gonna come through. Oh, and you're coming after me. Okay. I'm gonna be able to go. I'm gonna be able to geyser and do a little bit of damage over here. And we still have one more turn in this Dynamax. Take him out. Let's go, yo. Kai Ogre coming up big. Coming up big. Taking out that Theraldon in one shot. And it's not very effective, so you love that damage getting through. We still have one more turn in Dynamax, which I will be able to just drop with Max Thunder and pretty much pick up this win. If not, a Rock Slide should be able to do that work, and I don't see this Inteleon taking me out in one shot at all. Rock Slide coming in. Show me the victory. Show me the victory. We did make it a little bit harder for ourselves by not dropping that close combat, but sometimes I overthink. Same shot comes through. We're able to eat that up. If he would have... Oh, no, he did get a crit. I was going to say, if he would have got a crit, that would have taken us out, but he did get a crit. We were able to eat. Max Lightning coming through here, picking up that W in battle number one. Let's go. I have a good feeling about this team, and hopefully in the next battle or the third battle, we can show off that swagger combo with this Celestia. Started off today's video with a victory. Let's get it, guys. We're popping in battle number two, trying to go back to back, going up against a Palkia team alongside with Intimidate Landorus, Ferrothorn, Rotom Heat, Regilecki, and Grimstone. This is a prime opportunity for me to actually go into this swagger up, get in Celesteela, and I think he's going to lead to Grim Snarl so we can go for a Steel Spike, get a Defense Boost, get a KO, get a Beast Boost, and potentially roll out and dominate that battle from there. I'm liking this. I'm liking how it's looking. We got them two in our front spot. I think Kyogre is like a guaranteed, like you always have to bring Kyogre alongside of this. And I think we're just going to go Ludicolo here. Or Urshifu. Now, we got to go Urshifu. We're going to go same squad here, but try to get a different route going. Urshifu is just so strong, and I feel like Malwax is kind of coming in here for the Thunder. For the electric moves or trick room. I feel like that's like his little viable option. And Ludicolo can come in, in here at any time when you feel him viable. But I feel like Earth Food, you just get so much more value up against this team. But yeah, this team, I saw and I was like, yo, I think we can roll out strong. Definitely get a winning record with it. But potentially go 3 0. Like, I'm loving this team. Considering my favorite team I ever played was a, what's it called? Was a, uh,. It was a Swagger team. It was a Swagger Mudsdale team. We would lead Grimstarl and Mudsdale. Swagger up, and he had uh, stamina, so we wouldn't get confused, and he would just roll out and dominate battles. But Intimidate is going to come up big for us because that does drop my attack stat, but I, I think I'm totally fine here. I think I just Swagger up. I think we just drop a nice big Steel Spike and take out this Grimstarl. Unless he reflects, because we are going to go plus one, because we are minus one. So we'll go up plus two after a Swagger. But oh, he's going to Dynamax as well, and is he going to drop a Rock on me? Chill on me, man. I mean, I can rain dance and, just, and change weather. I can do a lot here. Oh, I could swagger him and risk the confusion. The options, the options. But he's going to get first hits on me. He's going to get first hits on me. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see the plays. That's the only problem. Celestial is slow. I'm trying to think. Is Rock super effective to us? Because we are Steel type. We're flying and steel. Like, I get it, it's super effective to fly, but steel, it's not very effective. So, I think that cancels out. I think we get a little minus minus action. Cancels out, and it's just going to be normally effective. 
Let's see the play. Let's see the play, man. Swagger coming out. Meow. Boosting up. Let's go. I'm confused, man. What you mean? Give me my berry. Give me my berry. Nom, nom, nom. Eat that berry up. We snap out of confusion. And he's going to roll off with a light. Ooh, I'm liking this. Does he know we're physical attacking? I don't think he knows we're physical. Gonna drop a lovely rock ball. Probably into my thunders, which I'm totally fine with if it's into my thunders. Yes. And he eat yo, you are the man, Thunderous. You are the man. You are the man. Thunderous eats. He sets up a light screen. That's gonna help up against Kyogre, but not my Earth Fruit or my Celestial. This comes through. This should be able to pick up KO. Plus one. Get it out of here. Now we're plus two. We're beast boosting. We're rolling out here and we get a defense boost. Just like I said in the beginning of this battle. Well, I'm liking this. But I think the only problem with swagger teams right here is the chance that it can miss. Like you can miss that swagger, that's why the wide lens is on that. Yo, I could swag. No, I cannot swag again. I was gonna say I can't swagger again, but I do not have another lumberry. But that was the best part about Mudsdale. He bulked up. He was a bulky boy because he had an assault vest, and you can swagger him multiple times because he didn't need a berry to eat up. He's gonna drop a Regilecki here. I'm totally fine. I am fine with that. Uh, do I change up the weather? I think I do change up the weather here. We change up weather. Do we start going for some speed? We drop a steel spike, get another defense boost. I'm kind of in on that defense boost. Hmm. I think there's no need for me to change up the weather. I can't really do much here. And I can, actually, I can swagger onto you. Is your special attacking? And I said we just get a defense boost and we do damage to Slanders. Okay, I'm digging this. Swagger gonna come out here. Connects again. Love to see it. I don't care that I'm giving him an attack boost. Considering he's special attacking. It does nothing to him. We basically just give him a confusion. Give him the ducks. Go ahead. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Do it. Yes. <laughs> Swagger working perfectly. We're doing him dirty. Here comes another rock ball. That's gonna take out my thunderous, which I'm totally fine. Actually, he's probably going after Celestial. Yep. Yeah, yo, and that's easy eats. We're defense plus one. And we're about to go up defense plus two. Yo, dude, I told you, yo, this combo is going to be able to rock out strong. Doing big damage. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, baby. All right, defense boost again. And um, can we eat up another Buffet? Can my Thunders eat up another Buffet? No, he's at six. Bye, buddy. Thank you for your swaggers. Helped us out tremendously. All right, next Pokemon coming in here. Uh, I don't think we bring a Kyogre just yet. I don't think we bring in Kyogre just yet. Considering he can rock fall and change up the weather. We're just gonna be like, hey, let's keep that down there. Let's roll from here. So my boy Ursh is coming out here. Um, I could sucker punch. Sucker punch could be a play. I think I am gonna end up sucker punching there. Seeing if I can pick up the KO. Actually, I know Urshfu outspeeds what's called Landorus. Do I wicked blow onto that? Or do I close combat? I think we should be fine if we just close combat here. Nah, we're just gonna wicked blow. It's not very effective. We're gonna wicked blow here, see if we can pick up that KO. And I am going to back it up with an airstream. Or, you know, we're just gonna back it up with another steel spike. Just in case he doesn't pick up the KO. Red's like he's gonna snap out of confusion, of course. And drop a T bolt. E! Hey! Hey! Yo, wicked blow. Take it out here. Take it out. Love you, Urshfu. Love you. Love you, Urshifu. Our sash is gone, but we are going to be able to get off an airstream here. Or no, I went for a steel spike. Which is totally fine. Onto the Regilecki, which I think should be able to kill. And we do get a beast boost. Even though it's not very effective, right? Yeah. Oh my lord. Here's a beast boost again. Plus three on defense. Plus three on attack. Yo, it's over with. And we have Kyogre in the back. And we have our Kyogre in the back. Yo, this team, guys. I'm telling you, if you want to push Master Bolt here... Get this team or if you want to push high ranks rent this team right now it is so good it is so good every time i play swagger teams i thrive with them i don't know why they seem so easy to play you can just set up and dominate real easily it doesn't matter about any of their plays you can really just get after it because a lot of people don't expect it either especially right now it's not big it's not like a big meta thing people don't expect it you can roll out and just dominate battles but we're going up against just palkia now and i think uh we could blow could be the call no i think we just drop a uh this little close combat little combat that is close. And I am going to fly. If I can't get off of a nice little lovely fly. 
Is, is he gonna quake? She's gonna special man over onto my Urshfu, right? Urshfu, eat. Eat it, buddy. Ouch. Ouch. Spatial Ren, baby. I love that move, though. Life orb, but we're gonna fly up here. We're plus three, dude. It's GG's. And we're getting out the one. The only Kyogre. Get this dude out of my face. Even though I love Palkia. Get me hyped for, uh... What is it? Shining Shining Diamond and... Oh, no. Shining Pearl and... So, what is it? It's a two games. It's a Diamond and Pearl remix, but I forget the names. It's Shining Pearl and something Diamond. Can't even remember it, but I'm getting hyped for him. We come out here. I can just drop a Thunder. Just drop a free Thunder here. He's Water type, but Palkia's gonna end up protecting. Hey, hey, yo, what are you doing? Protecting like that. That was actually smart protect. I'll give it to him. Smart, lovely little protect. Flash can come out here, and I, I honestly think Water Spout's gonna do a little bit more damage. I'm just gonna Water Spout, and I am just going to uh, Rock Slide. I'm just going to Rock Slide. Mr. Ben's gonna come out here, and who are you taking out? Who are you going after? Okay, my Kyogre should be able to eat this. Alright, Kyogre eats. Plus, Seal is gonna be able to get off a of rock slide. Hopefully, it connects. That's some big damage. Here goes the water spout. Not gonna do too, too much here. Probably should have went for a thunder. Yeah, this battle is actually a little bit closer than I thought. Rock slide connects. Thank you. Thank you, Celestial. And that should be it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Does he have a double hitting move? I'm just gonna go in Iron Head. I'm just gonna go in Iron Head. He's on one. He got a free focus sash. Special man comes out here. We should be fine here. We should be fine. Whoever he KOs. Yo, Celestial, clutch it up for me. If you miss this Iron Head, I'm going to be angry. Oh, okay. Life Orb takes him out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We pick up that win. Go 2 0. We can hop to our third and final and look for that winning record. This third and final battle is the true test for this team. We're going up against the Zaskin team, and you guys know that's top dog right now. He's rocking out. He's top meta Pokemon dominating everything but we won those first two battles so we're guaranteed a winning record in today's video but we want that perfect one this team is really really strong i'm loving it so far who should we leave i think uh did we go with that combo again i mean we can but well, he does have tailwind which mm, i don't really like i do not really like the tailwind um he could fake me out he could lead the uh the what's it called could lead the real boom which i don't i don't really like i don't really like that but in that case, I I still want to go into this. I'm going to go Drizzle. I'm going to get Ludicolo in that back. I, th I think Ludicolo can be the man. He can rock out. He has grass moves, too. I'm digging it, yo. We're going for Celestial again. We're trying to get him out here. We're trying to Dynamax him. We're trying to Swagger up and buzz from there. Because you guys seen that last battle. Like, it was amazing. We got a defense boost early. We got a huge attack drop. Well, not attack drop. We got a huge KO. We got a huge boost from our Swagger. And then we just started Beast Boosting and rolling out from there. Like, it was perfect. Everything worked out perfectly. But he's going to lead... Is this uh, Cinderace? Cinderace and Whimsy Poo. All right. Okay. Kind of scared. Kind of scared. Kind of scared. A little bit. Not even going to lie. Hmm. I think he is going to going to Tailwind. I think I might just drop a Steel Spike. What do I want to do? Could fly, get the speed boost. Or I could Rock Ball. Because I think he's going to stay Fire Typing. I really do think he's going to stay Fire Typing. We're going to drop this Rock. Even though it's not Stab. When he plus 2, this should be able to pick up a Lightweight Cinderace KO. But I'm scared of that Dynamax G-Max Fireball. I really am. But I think he's just going to Tailwind and Dynamax and roll from there. Right? I think that's what he's thinking. I think that's what he's thinking. Or is he thinking I'm going to protect? What are you doing, dog? There's Dynamax. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. He might just screw me over here. But maybe Celestial can eat up. I would love it. I would love it. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan at all. And hopefully he stays Fire Typing. That's my, that's my whole play. My whole thing is like if he's going to stay Fire Typing, I'm going to be able to drop a rock and roll from there. Let's go, Celestial. Show him what you made of. I just need to meet up a shot. Because if, say, we... uh. Say we eat up the shot and we take him out and we go one for one. I'm fine with that. I feel like we can still win this battle. Because I do have Kyogre in the back. But he probably does have Zassian in the back, which is just as scary. But what's called top tier? Cinderace is top tier Pokemon. I feel like it's so good and it's always posing a threat every single time. Sunny dead. Alright, we're dead. We're dead! We're dead! He's Sunny Dade! Hey, we're dead. I'm sorry. That's game. 
That's game. Unless he goes after my thunder. Hopefully he goes after my thunder. No, go after my thunderous. That's my that's my only way out of this. He's sunny day! I probably should have rain danced. There goes fireball. Go after thunders. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Yo, we just got dumped on. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. He rocked out with Sunny Day. I gotta get out Kyogre. I gotta get out Kyogre. Alright, here's the play. Here's the play of the week right here. Here is the play of the week. This, this is what I think we're gonna do. I'm gonna roll out with this. I'm gonna roll out with a rain dance because he should outspeed and drop Sunny Day. So he's gonna go Sunny Day. I'm gonna go rain dance. I'm a water spout. We gonna get amped for it. That's our only way out of here. We're in a hole right now. We gotta dig ourselves out of here. We got this though. We got this. I don't know. It's looking tough, but still, like I said, we already got that winning record. This third and final battle is just for fun. Just for just for goofing around, you know. He goes with the sunny day. The sunny of days. The sunniest of days. So, you know, your boy's thinking ahead. <laughs> and we rain dance. We give him the old rain dance. We say, hey, yo, son, stay away. Not happening today. Not happening. Get out of here. Get him out. Get out that sun. Did he drop another G-Max Fireball? He is over into my Lando, right? Or well, not my Lando, my Thundo. Is that Thundo or yes? And yo, yo, you want some of this? You want some of this? You want some of this? What you want? What you want? Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him out of here. <laughs> Yo. We back in this now. We back in this. He doesn't want it. He don't want it. Didn't think we were rocking rain dance. Get out of my face. He's going to bring in him. That's fine. I'm going to protect this turn. And I'm a thunder wave on him. I'm going to give him that thunder wave. Actually, I might protect and take out the... Uh, the whimsy. I'm kind of digging that. Take out the whimsy. Say, hey, let's slow this one down. Let's protect. Love my boy Ludi Colo in the back, which I really like. With that swift swim. Protect comes out. Fake out. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. Moon by oh, you biscuit, man. What a play. I'll give it to him. Props all day. Props all day. We do eat. We flinch, though. Um, What's the play here? He might just sunny day. We need him out of here. Gotta go here, and I think we gotta go for a water spout. I see Thunderous take him out with Thunderbolt. I really do. I think he's just gonna double KO here. Grace God, eat. We eat. Lovely. Moonblast comes in. He going after. Alright, Thunder's dead. Dang, man. He gets a crit. Not liking that one bit. He goes my Scald. Trying to do as much damage as we can. Can we get a burn? We need a burn. We need a burn. Nope, no burn. Dang, just as I thought we were back into this battle, he makes a good play. Makes a good play. I protected. Thought he was just going to come straight after that Grass Guide or even fake out my Kyogre. But he doubles through. Now it comes down to my boy, Ludicolo. Come on, Ludicolo. All right. This is tough. This is real tough. <laughs> Not a fan of this one. I can Hydro Pump. It, he just got me on the ropes. We're going to Hydro Pump in him. And we're going to, I guess, Scald again? Might as well, right? Look at my Hydro Pump connects. That real boom coming in big. But you guys got to give it to me. That that uh, that uh move that move was good. Where I rain dance and called this sunny day. That was good. That was a good play. And, of course, we missed, dude. All right, it's whatever. We lost this one. It's over with. He's going to pivot out with a U-turn. And who are you bringing in? That's my real question. That's my real question. Who are you going to bring in here? He U-turned on me. Get him out of here. If he brings in someone that I can just dump on in one shot with Kyogre. Makes that a little closer. All right. Let's see how this skull does. Let's see how this skull does. You mean to burn? You mean to burn? We just berserk him. <laughs> we just berserk this thing. And is he faster than my Ludicolo? That's, that's a solid question, right? That's not a bad question. Because Ludicolo might be able to outspeed him. Because he is swift swim. 
And I think we just drop a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump will definitely pick up the KO. And I'm just going to drop another Scald. Try to get rid of this Whimscott for like the ninth turn in a row. And he's sunny days. There's GG. That's GG. Fire Wrath coming out of here. Out of here. GG's. Good game. 2-1. Didn't even go up against a Zacian. He just, he just really just played that one well. He really did. I'll give it to him all day. He didn't even bring Zacian. That, that throws me off. That really does throw me off. Like, how do you play Zacian team and not bring him? He's like so good. Let's see if this Skull would have KO'd. Not now, probably. It would have KO'd in the rain. 100%. Look at him. He survived on a little bit, and that, that rain boost would have done it. Would have done it for us. But I'm just going to run this battle. This one's over with. He has speed advantage all over us, and he also has a uh, grassy glide robe in the back end. But, yo, 2 and 1 for today's video. Gotta love it. Got to show off this team to his fullest potential as well. Do yourselves a favor. Rent that code at the bottom of the screen. This team is phenomenal. Really, really strong on the rank ladder. You can go multiple ways with the Thunderous and Celestial combo, or you can just rock out and lead that Kyogre and Swift Swim Ludicolo combo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.